Every time, every time I go to film a goddamn video, I have my glasses on. It's just like, I can't see. Well, you guys can't see my eyes, but you can see me now. You can't see me now. You see me now? <laughs> you can't see me now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am tonight's entertainment. How's it going everybody? My name is Boba Vault and you are watching Boba Talks. Today's video is going to be sort of like an update video on the whole Jerome Joker fiasco kind of thing that's going on. Now I have been waiting for more images to come out and it hasn't been too much but there has been one which I would like to talk about which has been out for like I'd say like a week now but as I said I was waiting for more stuff to come out but I thought I may as well make a video anyway just to talk more about this image and just an update on what I think is going on with Jerome in general. So yeah, it was around a week ago when Cameron Monaghan actually uploaded a new Joker picture on December the 13th and a good friend of mine on Twitter, David, shout out to him, because he's been really informative and he's always like first on the ball in terms of the news when Cameron uploads a new picture, so I definitely recommend going to check his Twitter out and he runs a Gotham Hub page, so it's at Gotham Hub. I'll put a link in the description, but yeah, quick shout out if you want to learn all the latest about Gotham news, besides this channel, obviously. But yeah, he was quick to tweet me with a image literally as soon as it got uh, posted I even went on Cameron's Twitter myself and it was you know still actually up there before he deleted it around half an hour to an hour later I don't think he deletes them as quick as people say them he doesn't delete them seconds later but anyway I feel like this is the actual image we've all been waiting for in this image we see that Cameron is you know we've got his joker sort of face but it was just really satisfying because his smile is very very Jack Nicholson -y, if that's if that makes sense and obviously it's a bit, you know, dark, we don't get the full face, but here is another image of somebody obviously like mirroring the image to see what it'll kind of look like with both sides of the smile nicely lit up. But how cool is this guys? I mean, here we have Jerome looking more jokery than ever. Now there are a couple of things about this picture that I absolutely have to comment on. And that is clearly he's wearing a purple waistcoat, but you can see perhaps, I, this is this is where it gets a bit troubling for me because a, I'm colorblind, but B, it's, it's difficult anyway just because of the um, quality of the photo and the lighting and, you know, etc, etc. But the first thing I want to point out on this photo is you can clearly see he's wearing purple. Now, this has led me to think more about what I wanted to say about my first theories of Jerome. You know, is this Jerome? You know, is it still Cameron Monaghan actually obviously acting um, the role? But is it, is it a fan who stole his face? And that would be a massive letdown, blah, 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 blah. My main theory was Jerome was going to be Jerome, but it... That was just my answer to why would he cut off his own face, and I still have that question. But, you know, I really feel like the fact they're putting Jerome in purple and green, or purple and red here, with, you know, the goddamn smile and, the you know, just him in general, why would this not be Jerome himself? Okay, so we've ruled that out of the way. This is practically, I would say 90% from my, you know, perspective, this is Jerome Valeska. Uh, whether he has his old memories or not, it doesn't really matter. But that still begs the question, why in, you know, goddamn hell has he got staples on his face? Why does he have, you know, slits around his eyes? Why did he have to have his face cut off? Maybe it wasn't him, maybe it was the doll maker, who knows, but I'll get into that in a little bit. But you can see as well on the edge of this image, you can see the staples on the side of his face, which are seen in other images. So as you see in this image here, you can see the staples on his face, and that is obviously from where his face has been like taken off and then transplanted, well, sort of back on his face, and then obviously very deaf in the family have, has it stapled back on, just like that Joker mask um, in, from the comics. Now I'm just wondering, does he have green hair here? I don't think he does. Some people are thinking that he does, but I think that would be very too soon. I mean, I know we're getting a lot, but... This is what I think about this latest image today. I think that this isn't going to happen in episode uh, 12 of episode 13, maybe not even episode 14. I think that we're going to possibly get Jerome maybe at the end of one of those episodes. But I think maybe this might actually be happening towards the end of season 3 because they've always stated how they want to branch out the Joker's arc. Uh, into season four and this the way he looks here is almost you know almost spot on to the point where he should be sort of before where batman comes and yeah i know what you're gonna say joker shouldn't be around bruce isn't even batman i know what you mean but gotham are doing their own goddamn thing and i'm and i'm cool with it so 
I don't think that this image we got here of Jerome with the purple and the green, the purple and the red, the waistcoat, the crazy ass smile, the makeup, even maybe the red lipstick on there, uh, you know, very pale, the, the staples. I don't think we're going to get that in the three story arc. Maybe, maybe we will, maybe we'll see him, but maybe not fully fledged in this. But if we do, that'd be cool. But I think uh, it would be a lot cooler to see and tease and you know, fleshed out through the episodes towards the end of the season because obviously there's a lot of other story besides Jerome coming in the second half of the season. But as I said, I don't think Gotham would give us this image of Jerome or, you know, well, this Jerome that we are going to see in the episodes eventually in the second half of this season with purple, with the whole Joker's persona and just, you know, only to then tear him away and become, not be the actual Joker and only for him to influence some other Joker bullshit, you know, I don't think that's going to happen at all. So this is very much so Jerome Valeska. Uh, he may not even remember his name. Who knows? Uh, that's going to be the interesting thing to find out in these episodes. But as I said, the whole theory about somebody else wearing his face and it's still being acted out by Cameron Monaghan, uh, I think that is, you know, time to throw out the window with that. Uh, even though that was a cool theory, I thought that was cool. But yeah, that would just cheese off a lot of people, you know, with, you know, just him being so good. And as I said, they're giving us this much of him this early on. And that is amazing. But, you know, that's why I think that he truly is going to be the Joker. So guys, I want to know what you think is the very reason why Jerome has got these staples on his face. Basically, why was his face, you know, taken off only to be put back on? There are some, you know, rumors out there. Is it because he wanted more of a smile? Uh, is it really because of the doll maker? But, you know, the actual doll maker who was on in earlier in Gotham, who actually did stuff to fish Mooney. If Jerome truly is Jerome Valeska, what is the reason as to why his face is in this state? Be sure to leave your thoughts and theories in the comments below as I'd love to hear them. And I'll be sure to do more short and snappy videos like this on every image that Cameron uploads rather than waiting a little while to gather more, you know, photos and evidence of the Joker. Because at this point, the leaks that are happening are, you know, a bit too slow. So be sure to know that if there is any more images that do get released, I'll be sure to do videos just like this. But anyway, guys, that is all from me in today's video. Please leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it as I'd really appreciate it. And if you aren't subscribed already, maybe consider subscribing to stay up to date with all the latest Gotham news and to all my subscribers out there make sure you hit that bell button and tick the box that lets you stay informed on all the latest uploads to make sure that you just basically don't miss any because sometimes youtube doesn't like to post my videos to your sub boxes as always guys have a lovely rest of your day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye